It's Wednesday. It's Hump Day. This week we are talking about breakups. Now, welcoming this week we have guest Humper Roderick Van Gilder. Thank you. My pleasure. We have gorgeous Sophie. Hello. And Melbourne's Jace. Hey. So welcome back. Now this week we're talking about breakups. Now there's, I could spend a whole month talking about <laughs> breakups, but that's not what it's about. Um, so yeah, lots happening in the news. Yeah, I've been particularly fascinated with the breakup of uh, Britain uh, and the EU, mm. who uh, had always had a very um, love-hate relationship, to put it mildly. Um, but what I'm interested in what's going to happen in terms of our industry is how does that then affect all of the like the, the performers and the cultural content mm. that come out of Britain that then tour the EU, you know, all the bands or, you know, even opera, ballet, pretty much every kind of cultural product that comes out of Britain then has to interact with the EU and travel around it. Yeah. Uh, and that used to be a lot more difficult uh, before the EU, you know, I mean, changing, I mean, not that it's going to happen anymore, but, you know, changing money back before the single euro currency. but. But just easy movement, having a British passport, uh, is now going to possibly go away or not because everything yeah. seems so quite chaotic. Now you've worked in Europe quite a quite a bit, Roderick. Yeah, it's um, we'll just have to wait and see because the the the, the big difference, of course, is that the UK is an island, mm. so it was always a bit more separate from Europe, the mainland, mm. um, because you always had to get across the, the channel. Mm. Mm. Um, but yes, it, it will impact in um, a lot of ways. Uh, more thinking about technology, mm. um, because there's a very strict set of European standards mm. that everybody had to adhere to. Mm. Um, if the UK, because part of the whole breakup is that they didn't want to be told by anybody else how to do their stuff. Yeah. So if they now take that as an opportunity to start changing the standards to which mm. um, things are done. Mm. That could cause yeah. a lot of trouble. But th they're not going to be able to do that. So there's a lot of our gear that's still manufactured in the UK. I and mean, you've got, mm. digi in terms of audio, just because I know it better off the top of my head, you've got Digico making audio consoles in Scotland. You've got Allen and Heath still making things mm. on English soil. They're still going to want to sell them to Europe because yeah. it's a market of almost a billion people. They're going to have to conform to all the EU rules yeah. anyway. So what's, <coughs> what's what's going to be much more difficult for them is that now that they're outside the EU economy, mm. they have to start looking at import duties and things like that. Mm. So that's that's the big difference that it'll make because the the money they pay every month and that that, that figure has been sort of thrown around yeah. quite a bit. Mm. Um, part of that came back in, in, in duties. Mm. So now that that's not coming back, so every time they want a piece of equipment to go to Europe, mm. they'll have to pay import duties for that. Mm. Um, it'll make it more difficult in bringing gear over. So if you have a touring show, mm. Mm. Um, you now have to go for on the car night because all the gear that comes in needs to go out of the country again. So you mm. need to go through that whole rigmarole, which was oh. drive you insane. Yeah, um, yeah that does not sound good. No. And it's gonna be a lot more expensive to do that. Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, because it takes a lot more time. Yeah. Mm. And this is just one industry in so many mm. industries yeah. Yeah. of something that, okay, we've had a breakup. Mm. From a different point of view, as a traveler from mm. Australia, I'm thinking, well, if the dollars crashed, mm. hello, let's go traveling, because it's always been so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, there's this, there's, uh, oh, The bugger of that is that our Australian dollar went down with it. <laughs> oh, I see, I didn't read that <laughs> See, I'm always the glass half no, full and They took the rest so, of us okay. with them. Oh, um, okay, I thought about that. You see, this is, this is actually a point my wife <laughs> Made a couple of weeks ago. Don't ever divorce me because the paperwork will drive you insane. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Breakups right. are worth the it. The breakups are just so much work. Not that just you know because you fell out of love. It's the paperwork. Oh, so oh. stay in love. Indeed. We'll be back after this.
amp for Dante range of Dante digital to analog audio adapters are engineered to simplify the connection of analog equipment, including amplifiers and loudspeakers, to Dante networks. Their unique cable dongle housing design is a world first for Dante enabled products, allowing systems integrators to mount the adapter without the costs and labour of additional rack or shelf space. Amp for Dante adapters receive audio channels from a Dante network and provide studio quality, low latency audio via an XLR connector to analog audio equipment. Any audio available on the Dante network can be routed via the XLR outputs to an amplifier, powered speaker, mixing console, digital signal processor or other analog audio device. All right, so welcome back. Now, back on breakups. Surely we've all had like a tragic breakup. Doesn't have to be a relationship, could be a workplace thing. Right, go. Okay, first day on a new job. Uh, couldn't handle anything remotely about it the way it was run. The people who were doing it, they shall remain nameless for the moment, but they are still in business in Melbourne. And I walked up to them at 5 p.m. and said, I am not coming back tomorrow. And they were kind of, oh, I went, no. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> okay. And that was your breakup. <laughs> it was quick and swift. Right there. Mm. Oh, taking How about yours? tips. Mine would be um, a, a lot of breakups, and um, I was known as the three month Sophie because I would always break up with the boys within this three month gap because it got too serious. Oh. But, um, yeah, like yeah. had a few. Yeah, <laughs> Roderick, moving on to you. Okay. okay. Yes, I'm. I'm also just going for a show where it got to a point where no, this is just insane. And unfortunately, it was overseas, mm -hmm. um, and I just had to walk away. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, it was getting to a point where either I walk away now. Or I'll spend a long time in jail here. <laughs> <laughs> best, best that you walked away. And here you are now to tell the story. <laughs> so, yeah. yes. Um, okay, breakups, relationships, boring, yawn. Um, but work-wise, back in the, the corporate world, my boss and one of his work associates were screaming and shouting at you using the F word, the C word, mm -hmm. the whole bit. I had to close my boss's office, my office, and I'm sure that they could hear us two blocks away with And I went, you know what? this isn't professional, <laughs> I don't like you. So yeah, from that moment, I decided to have a very quick career change Moving and I uh, got home and I said to my now ex, um, he said, if, we, if you don't have this particular career change, I think we'll broke up. So I got the career change and we broke up yeah, anyway. You like doubled up on your breakup I story did, like, then. I don't do things by heart. <laughs> yeah, I awesome. double. So anyway, um, <laughs> moving along. Yeah, I think uh, that's enough of the breakup. Let's have a look at Gearbox. Jason, DB Technologies ES503. Yeah, that's what we're standing in front of here. Look, there seems to be a lot of manufacturers falling over themselves to make small, portable sort of corporate gigs, stick it in a corner, two or three box systems, you know, easy load in, easy setup. Um, it can be a little bit of an uninspiring marketplace, I think. They're all kind of plastic, they're all kind of light, they're all kind of cheap, um, and with similar acoustic results. This one's a wooden sub. Yeah, that's, that's not bad. The sub's actually not bad at all. Mm. Integrated uh, amp DSP. So there's three channels. Uh, you can actually, it, so you can run on stereo with the top boxes or in mono as an array. So we're not going to break up. We're just going to say see you next week. Thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye.